Vector shapes in Photoshop 2023 can now use materials or substances. It means you can add concrete effects, wood effects, comet effects, and much, much more to any vector shape. Let's just go back to the start, edit and fill. And I'm just gonna go down here. You've got rectangle tool, ellipse tool. I'm gonna to go with the polygon tool, but you can of course use custom shapes or use the pen tool to create a shape. So polygon tool, then go to the top left and you've got shape. That creates a vector shape. So a vector shape can be any size. You can modify it in numerous ways, make it very thin, wide, and so on, and release. Now the current color is gray, but of course you can change that, but you can also add materials. With that selected, go down to right click and make selection. So you've right clicked and then make selection. Set the value to zero and click OK. And you can see you've got a selection around your shape now. And you can go here, materials. Materials you can find in window menu and materials. It's one of the standard panels and you can select any of these, any of them. Wax, you've got, now you think, oh, Oh, is that it for a number of substances? Well, obviously Adobe have supplied a number of them, but you can also click here and you can go to the Adobe website, find thousands more. You can also go and find a load of free ones via this, the community tab. That's very useful, that second option there. So that's another, got loads and loads of great designs there. And you can click any of these and they all come with a load of properties. So this one, copper, you can see the copper design here. And you've got loads of things like copper roughness. You can just tweak the settings, variations, dirt, you can add dirt to it, oxidization, and so on. Lots and lots of different options. Now, the weird thing about this is you notice when you've created it, it's created another layer. You can always just delete this polygon if you wish. So just remove it. Yes, it's gone. However, you've got this design now. Well, what can you do with this? You might want to change the various substance. Well, with that selected, make certain you select it and you can just click here. So click and it will change the substance very quickly, maybe geometric, and then change the settings for that. You can also, because it's a smart object, you can always go and add some filter effects or bevel and emboss. Yeah, you've got a lovely bevel very quickly added. Click OK, or maybe a shadow. You can also go over here to filter and go down to distort and maybe use wave or any of the others, of course. And you can see what happens. It distorts the substance. So you can see the substance there manipulated. Click OK. And you can see the result there. So literally loads of great designs can be just adding wave or twirl or displacement or so on. You can still, if you decide, you know what? I don't want that material. I can click here. So hexagon, just click that. It's still selected. And that will also have that wavy effect. And you can still, of course, modify these settings. So you can turn around and say, pattern amount, just change that, change that. And you can see the result of your changes. And it's still got the wave, it's still got the substance. All of it is still live. What you can then do, of course, is you can select it and you can just move around. Now you'll notice what happens when you select it. You get the whole layer. You might not want that. If you don't want that, what you can do, you can always go to layer and you can go down here to smart objects and convert to smart object. So it all becomes just one single thing. And you can see now you've got the entire design there. And again, you can still add effects Go down here, maybe go for drop shadow. And you can see drop shadow there and click OK. Also, hold down the ultra option key and you can duplicate this design. And you can see what happens. You've got multiple copies of it. You can also then resize it. Just resize that very quickly and reposition that. And again, you can change the setting at any time. So if you decide, you know what? I don't want that substance. However, you will notice because I've done it into a smart object, it's not available here. So if I click over here, it's not gonna do what I think it's gonna do. So just click there. It's gonna fill the entire screen. Not exactly what I want. What I need to do 
is to go, now it's created another copy, it's a weird way it works. You need to click here. So double click there. Now what you can do, you've got your smart and substance. So as long as you've got that selected, you can decide, you know what, I want that one instead. So click there and you can see it change and you can see your design there change. And you've got loads of other options again with this one. Position, color contrast, change the color, maybe go for green instead and so on. Literally millions of designs can be created just by using this one. At any point, you can always close it. So simply go over here, close that and save. So it's saved and it will update all of the others. So if you've got other copies, you can see what happens. You've got all four will change because you've changed that material. And again, you can duplicate that and so on. But also what you can do, a really great feature in Photoshop 2023 is the library option. Library option is super useful. So let's just go to library, window and libraries. Because what you can do with libraries is you've got this option down the bottom. Go here, little plus, this is the libraries panel. Go there and you've got extract from image. So you've got this substance and you can click extract from image and now it will use this image here. So you've got that lovely substance design. You can then use it to create pattern designs as well. So you can change the scale. You can see you can zoom in. You can move that around. Now, this is not live. It will create an entry in the libraries panel, become a preset, but it's not live. So you can't sort of manipulate the design again and that will be updated. You can change the scale. You can rotate. And then you can save to CC libraries. But it's a great way of creating literally millions of patterns. Of course, you can also create brushes from it, also create shapes from it, gradients, and so on. So click close. And you can see your captured pattern there in the libraries. But again, you can still go and manipulate this. So you decide again, I don't want that substance. Double click, and you're back into this design. And you can tweak it again. You can change the bed and boss. You might decide, you know what, I don't want the Bevan Boss. So you can just simply deselect it. You can deselect the wave. You don't want the wave. It goes back to the standard design. And again, substance. If you decide, you know what, let's see. Select another one. Let's go for this one. Something like that. Just go to another substance and close that. And as soon as you do that, let's just close it and save. All of them will be updated again. And you can see the design there. Literally millions of possible designs can be created using this approach. Also what you can do is you can apply effects to this as well. Now with this one selected, because it's not a smart object or related to these ones, if I add a smart filter to this one, so if I just go over here, filter, and down to say distort and wave, so I distort that one, all that happens is click OK. None of the others are modified. That smart effect is only applied to that one. None of the others have this smart filter. But you can create, again, millions more designs with that, and it's still all live. So at any point, you can double click, double click, and go back to the same, the shape. If you want to, you can manipulate the shape. Close that, and manipulate this design. Change again the substance apply a different one and you can see design there and in here you can also go to filter maybe go to distort and twirl so instead of for the there the wave I'm going for twirl so you apply a twirl effect to that design and again close that and save all of them will have that twirl effect applied now so you can create some really unusual designs and it's still all live all these various options are still available with their literally infinite number of properties. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know. How are you going to use this feature? Are you going to use it in your projects? I think it's an absolutely brilliant feature. It's sort of been tucked away in the others section of the Photoshop 2023 release, which is a pity because I think it's one of the really great features of Photoshop. Thank you much.